This is lesson 13. We're working in subtraction. Please remember to write the date and write your name. This is your opportunity for your best handwriting. So you want to write your name and then we can get started. So we're doing subtraction, which means we're taking away from a group of things. So if we have some and we take some away, we are doing subtraction. So listen to the number one problem here. There are three boxes on the table. After you take one box away, two boxes remain. Remember that keyword, that leftover word, remain? Write the number sentence. So there were three boxes and you take one away. That means you have three minus one equals two. So we're doing our number sentence using the minus symbol and the equal symbol. In subtraction, the big number starts here at the first box. So your largest number, the one with the most, starts here. You take some away and you have some left over, some remain. Okay? So let's write those number sentences. I'm going to do the first couple with you, and then I'm going to let you try to do the rest on your own. So let's get started. There were five turtles in the pond. After two turtles got out of the pond, three turtles remained in the pond. Okay, so we have turtles in the pond and two left. That means three remain. So there are five turtles minus two that left equals three turtles. Read the next one. There were six sheets of paper in the folder. After you used two sheets of paper to make paper rings, Four sheets of paper remained in the folder. So you had six, two were used, four remain. Six sheets of paper minus two sheets of paper equals four sheets of paper. This is our number sentence. All right, I'm going to read number three, and you're going to write this all by yourself. There were seven birds on the line. After three birds flew away, four birds remained on the line. Seven birds, three flew away, four remain. What's your number sentence? Seven birds three through flew away four remained your number sentence should look like this seven minus three that flew away equals four remain all right good job let's try number four you had eight flowers in your bunch after you gave two flowers to a friend six flowers are left in your bunch so what are you supposed to do? You have eight flowers all together. It says so. Two flowers to a friend. Six flowers remain. So you have eight flowers. Two were given to a friend. Six remain. Okay? All right, let's go on to number three. Write each number sentence below. I'm going to read this for you and you're going to do the rest by yourself. If four birds fly away, two birds remain. You have to do the job of counting how many there are altogether. That's where the number six came from. They didn't give it to you. They show you in a picture. So there are six total birds. One, two, three, Four birds fly away, two birds remain. 
If you eat two oranges, there are five oranges remaining. If you break three pencils, there are five pencils remaining. If you use five sheets of paper, there are two sheets left. If four children go home, there are five children still at the sandbox. All right, let's check your work. If you eat two oranges, there are five remaining. Okay, so that means you started with seven and you ate two and there are five left. So you need to know how many there are to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to start. If you break three pencils, there are five remaining. Eight minus three equals five. That's your number sentence. If you use five sheets of paper, two sheets are left. So you have seven sheets of paper, you use five and two are left. If four children go home and five children remain, you started with nine children minus four children equals five children. So check your work and make sure it looks like mine. If your number sentences don't match mine, you need to um, go back and try to fix them and see where you made your mistake. So finding your error and fixing it is a really important part of learning. Once your work looks like mine, you've done an excellent job. Give yourself those 100 points at the tippy top and you are ready to move on to lesson 14.